Hey, it's Sonic with a sword sign everybody up. Coolest thing since Sonic did laser tag. Oh, it is you who is dull. And, okay, yeah, the sword can talk. Okay, that's a bit of a letdown. Sonic and the Black Knight. Besides a possibly racially offensive name, this was a fairly non-controversial game, or so I'm told. But I have a lot of questions, like, isn't Knuckles supposed to be King Arthur's nephew? Or at least the knight that he represents? Sonic is King Arthur in the end, so... Yeah? Okay, so we get plenty of Sonic's pals in this game, including Tails. He's a blacksmith with a boring life. While we're all out killing bad guys with a talking sword, he's sitting indoors, doing... Well, nothing. Poor guy, he hasn't moved from that position since... Since ever. You know, considering how each knight has their own sword and none of the villagers fight, I don't think he's really gotten any business besides when Sonic comes along. I mean, the villagers might fight, I don't know, but... Oh yeah, I'm sorry, what are these? What is your face? It's funny, because in some levels you can get a reward for giving them rings. But charity is not easy in this town. You would think that when you give someone some money, they'd... Especially someone looking like this, they just take it, but no. They refuse your money, and you must force it into their pockets with the power of a quick time event. But then if you fail, they're very sad, so... Maybe they have demons inside them resisting the money? I don't know. Sometimes when you finish a level, you get all kinds of cool items, like food. Yum. It's bread. It's useless. Then sometimes we'll get some really wacky stuff. Oh, look at that. I got a thorn anklet. Yeah, man, that, man, that feels great, I'm sure. Just wear that around town. That'll get you all the attention of the villagers. Not that that's a good thing. Funny thing is, this item literally makes you worse at stuff. Yes, I'm sure I'll put that to good use. Hey, guys. <laughs> Guess who you can unlock? Mm, silver. Best game. 10 out of 10. IGN. Actually, a 10 from IGN isn't necessarily that great, so five star from some British guy I once saw. Hey, everything is better with a friend, right? So thank goodness this game has multiplayer. There are so many different modes, like battling enemies, battling other enemies, battling other enemies and your friends as well, even though you could always battle them at the same time. And you can also take turns. I like doing that one the best because it's just, it's just something I do. It's not even something you're supposed to do with the game. It's like I'm a hacker. Hmm, most soldier ones. Yeah, I hate those. You know, if you're if you're doing it on easier difficulty, can I just fight like the least soldier ones? That'd be a lot nicer. One thing I like about this game is that the final boss is a woman. No, I didn't intend for it to sound like I like killing women. I mean, it's unique for a Sonic game. I'm very sorry to all of those of you who thought I was being evil. Also, sorry to you, boss lady. If it makes you feel any better, you have such a giant, glowing, pretty metal face. Uh, now the whole city is falling apart. We gotta go fast! Quick boat driver, step on it! Hey, you do know we're going to die if you don't go any faster. But the boat driver was still down there, but that's okay. That's what he gets for trying to take a joyride during an earthquake. Oh, hey, that's something. Sonic must be pretty heavy if he can cut through a wall using his own body weight. Whoa, check out how many followers we got. I mean, you can get tons of followers on Facebook by posting a cat picture, but Sonic saving the world here... Considering it concerns everyone, you'd think I'd get some more, but no, eh. Sonic should just post cat pictures for a living. So it turns out that Sonic is the new King Arthur. Eh, that's cool, I mean, he's destined to die now, but I guess eh, we all have to die sometime. I guess I never really thought of it, uh, oh well, Sonic is just king now. And uh, this must take place after every other game now, because obviously he's going to spend his whole life doing this. I wonder how well Sonic will do in politics. For some reason, I never really saw him as much of a diplomatic ruler. I mean, if swinging the sword gets you made king, then why not give Steve from Minecraft to go? I mean, he can't speak, but at least he won't force us all to eat chili dogs. Also, King Arthur in the story supposedly gets killed by the knight that's played by Knuckles, so... Uh, Knuckles kills Sonic. Okay. That's cool. Why'd you do that, Knuckles? Are you gonna kill Sonic? Can't spend anything on <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching this video. This is a new little thing that I'm doing for fun, just a what's up with this game. And, uh, no, I don't really wonder what's up with Sonic and the Black Knight. It's actually a pretty fun game, but there are a lot of things like this that are just fun to make fun of in a lot of games, especially Sonic games. If you've got any games you want me to do, or if you think I should continue this series at all, please give me a like, because that would let me know that it is worth my time. This is very fun to make. Hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.